everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something new that I'm calling the Custom Content Showcase. Basically with this, I'm choosing some of my favorite CC creators. I'm gonna apply their custom content to some base game sims that I've created. That way you can actually see what they look like in game. I'll also be linking all of the CC used in the video today in the description below. That way you have easy access to these amazing content creators. Remember, if you like the video, give it a like. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. Let's hop into Cass. When I started today, I couldn't decide if I wanted to test out custom content on Naomi or Courtney from the most recent Breed Out the Weird Challenge because I like the way that they both turned out. So instead, I did what, what we do in The Sims, which is, which is breed them together. So this is our base game sim that I will be trying out all of the custom content on, and she is named CC Tester because I'm really creative. I'm going to be doing basically four custom content creators and one sim will be a combination of two of them the other sim will be a combination of the other two with the custom content creators today they do make a lot of different types of custom content but not all of them do hair or clothes or things like that so to be able to do an entire sim i decided to pair them off the four creators that i'm showcasing today are praline sims dark knight s club and lao pippi the reason i paired all four of these together is because they're all available on the simsresource.com for our first cc tester sim i am going to be doing a combination of praline sims and dark knight for both of these sims though i will be using eyelashes from kijuko i am not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly but what i do know is that they're the best eyelashes available for the sims some of the creators that I'm showcasing today also make eyelashes, but I really like the 3D eyelash look that you get with Kijuko, so I will be linking them as well. One other thing that I would recommend from them, in addition to the eyelashes, is this right here. It is the eyelash remover. So when I click on this, the eyelashes are gone, and then you can apply your own eyelashes as well. This is tough because it does take up a layer. Since we're doing praline sims, let me show you this real quick before I get into the actual adding of the eyelashes. This is an option that comes with praline sims. I do use it a lot if the EA sim does not have the EA eyelashes to start with. It allows you to add some different face shaping by adding some different lines. This one adds a higher cheekbone. This one adds kind of in the front. This one I use a ton. I use this option with the high cheekbone, this one here. I think you could use some of these other ones, maybe if you wanted to add age lines in a subtle way. Um, but I, I really recommend getting this from Praline Sims and I will link it as well. But since I'm adding eyelashes on this sim, it's, it's gonna take the same layer, so I won't be able to apply it. The first thing I like to do on Sims is pick out their eyebrows because I think they're important. Praline Sims does offer quite a few. One that I really enjoy is this one here. It has the slits in the eyebrow, which is actually really hard to find. Um, they also have it in a more masculine version as well. I downloaded these when I was making the Stray Kids Sims because um, cause Bang Chan needs an eyebrow slit. They do offer eyelashes that are more of a sparse look, like here, like the N81s, but I personally prefer a thicker looking brow, so I'm gonna go ahead and use these N134s from Praline Sims. I'm, I'm gonna set them to a brown. Maybe we'll go brown on this sim. We'll have to see when we get to hair. Next up is eyes. With a lot of these eyes, they are sitting on the face paint layer, so when you add them to your game, if you're looking for them, that's where you can find them. I have a few different ones that are offered by Praline Sims. One of the cool things is they do after the heterochromia option um, with their CC. So you'll get one that is set as a default and then you have the one in the face paint layer that you can change. They have those in two different styles. I'm gonna go with these ones here. They're the N153 by Praline. And let's see, got a couple different color options. I mean, by a couple, I mean like, like 50. They really have all of the options. If you want pink eyes, they've got it. If you're doing not so berry and you need some of these different color variations, they're really good at having that. Like they even have orange. But I think for today, I'm gonna go with this kind of tealish green. It matches the background of my cast screen and I like it. Moving on to skin details, I probably use praline face overlays the most. The majority of my Sims, I really like this uh, face skin collection that they have. This one doesn't do as much to the whole body, but you can choose all the different shadings of the face. They also have different options. So if you want it to be more realistic looking, more alpha, they have some that have additional texture, or you can get the same face 
without as much texture. Also in their ones, they have different options for the type of eyelid overlay, some with, some without. It also adjusts <laughs> the cleavage is one of the features. Let me, I don't know if we can see it with her robe. Uh, ma'am, I'm gonna need to remove your robe, I'm sorry. So for here on the flower skin collection, depending on which option you choose will determine um, the different cleavage lines. So you have options there as well. I'm gonna go with this one from the flower pack uh, with less cleavage. So usually what I use is just the face overlay. It meshes into the EA skin, but they do have different skins available. So if you wanted to have more of that realistic texture, you can have those as well. I'm actually gonna use this one. It is the Reina Skin Tone Pack. Usually I don't, because I like my Sims to be alpha on most things, but I like their skin to look a little bit more Max's match. But I think for today, I think we'll do this. It gives, it gives the whole body um, more definition. Regular collarbones, very defined collarbones. The Sim also has a little bit of a chin dimple that you usually lose when you put on overlays, but Praline Sims has an overlay that allows you to put that back. Um, it also offers like different levels of how noticeable it is. So I am going to give her back her little chin dimple. We'll just do, we'll just do a tiny one there. Also, probably my favorite piece of CC as someone that has dimples is Praline Sims N07 dimples. They are the ones that I use the most often. They have so many varying depths and locations that you can get from this. Uh, you can choose both sides, you can choose one side. I usually just use the top one. I like them to be most noticeable. I like them to be evenly spaced. They also have the N05 dimples. These ones are slightly closer to the mouth. I tend to go with the sevens because they're a little bit farther out. With the N05, you do have a couple different options that come with the dimples as well. So if you are someone that has dimples or you want your Sims to have dimples, I think that both of these are worth having. And then finally, something that I use on almost every single Sim is the mouth corners from Praline Sims. This is the N01. It just adds some more definition to the corner of the mouth. You can choose to put it on one side. You can just put it on the other side if you want your Sim to look more like they have a smirk. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just the top left ones here. Now to add the magic of the Kijiku eyelashes. I, I love them so much. Like, I feel like my life changed the day that I got these eyelashes. They have so many options. If you put them on the skin details level though, I will say, be careful. If your Sim is wearing a ring, it will clip into the eyelashes. But if you know your Sim is gonna be wearing rings, if they're married and you want them to have a ring, if your Sim just really likes accessories, you can also download them for the glasses layer. And when you put them on the glasses layer, I haven't noticed any issues with that as far as the clipping. Also, if you want them to look thicker, you could actually put it on both layers and they kind of double up. For the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Praline Sims N81 in this kind of like lighter purple shade. I think that looks really nice. Her eyeliner, one that I'm not going to use today, but that I do recommend is the N90. With this one, I love it because you have all the options to start slowly building in the amount of eyeliner that you're using. They also have options that have different color variations. I actually use this a lot of my male sims when I was doing my K-pop sims. This came in handy because it, it gave some different options to highlight the eye. But for today, I'm going to go with the N36 eyeliner. I'm going to use it in this red and gold. You also have the option to just have the wing, to just have the inner highlight. I'm going to go with the combo of both. I think it looks really nice with the eyeshadow underneath. For blush, I'm going to use the N53. It's almost like a little bit of a sunburn blush, but I think it looks really cute. Moving on to lips. One of my favorite lip glosses from Praline Sims is the N198. I use this all the time. S Sherry has it. So many of uh, Sherry has it, and I think, I think Taylor does too. The, a lot of my Sims, a lot of my Sims use this. I just really like it. Um, but when I was planning for this video, I found that they also have an N197, I believe. This is very similar to that last one, but with a slightly different lip shape. So this is the N197. This is the 198. It kind of just has a different shape to it. And I like them both, and I'm very happy to now have them both. But for this video, I'm going to stick with the N198 because it is classic. It is what I use on so many of my Sims. I, I think I'm going to go with this kind of like peachy tone. I think it's all working. I think everything in the face is working together. 
I think it's time to move on to hair. Unfortunately, Praline Sims doesn't make a lot of hair um, that I noticed, and I really like alpha hair more than Maxis Match. So with this, I am gonna be using Dark Knight for our hair. Dark Knight has so many cool hairs. <laughs> If so, this actually looks really cool. I wasn't planning to use this one, but that's really cool. Also, if you're looking for good Afro texture hair, one, Ebonics is probably one of the best, but Dark Knight has some amazing hair. Like this hair is so good. Um, this one that I used on Amara, which was someone that I showed in Breed Out the Weird, so good, so good. Um, also, if you want Trixie Mattel hair, you can get Trixie Mattel hair from Dark Knight, but they also make one of my favorite hairs, which is this one here. This this hair I refer to as the Kira hair because I think she's the first sim that I ever put it on. But like, it's so cute. It's it's such a cute hair. Oh, I kind of like it in the pink. Am I just making her all pink? I wasn't planning to make her all pink. I I, I might be doing this. I it looks it looks so good. She's actually kind of like my stream color scheme, which is like that hot pink with like the teal eyes. I'm going to go with this because it looks really cute. She's cute. Oh, I like her. And moving on to clothing. Also, I just realized I forgot to put her robe back on this entire time. I'm so sorry. Poor girl just standing here cold. One of the items from Dark Knight that I use all the time that anyone who has ever watched on Lucky Chef has seen is this sweater right here, this kind of like sweater dress. I love this as pajamas. This is one of my favorite pieces of CC that I've ever gotten. I think it is so cute. It looks so cozy. I love it. I used it in the Explore the Night scenario and the Unlucky Chef scenario. I'm obsessed with this. So this is from Dark Knight. I will put this one on here and then we will do another outfit because like it's so cute. There's so many cute swatches. I think I'm gonna go with this this green. I think this green looks really nice in contrast. So I'll go with this one here and then we will make her another outfit. Ooh, also, this is from Dark Knight. Hello. Oh, hello. They also have gorgeous wedding dresses. I had downloaded these when I was looking for Sherry's wedding dress. Didn't end up going with it because I didn't want the hands to clip in. I had enough issues with that wedding as is. But it is so pretty. Also, the classic Sherry booby dress is Dark Knight CC. This, we will go with this. What is, what is this one? Oh my god, this is so cute. I just downloaded this yesterday. I downloaded this yesterday because I was, I was checking for what else I could add to the video because I really enjoy their content. Let me do one. We'll do, let's do the booby dress first and then we'll make the other one an outfit and then... <laughs> We'll do three outfits on this sim because that is so cute. For shoes for this outfit, um, I just downloaded these the other day. They're very cute. They have like clear sides, um, but they're just a very classic sexy heel. Also available in red and, and other colors. <laughs> but I think we'll just stick with the black for this time. All right, and then our third outfit here. This is so cute. I actually downloaded this with like Sherry in mind and Unlucky Chef in mind. Maybe Diamond. Okay, I like this one. I like this one. These heels don't really work for this. Um, and I did not plan ahead for her to need other shoes. Oh, right here. Okay, right here. You know, we'll go, we'll give her sneakers. We'll give her some sneakers with this outfit. These are also from Dark Knight. Those are cute. And then to finish off this sim, because I forgot to do the accessories uh before I dress them, we're going back to Praline Sims. If you want facial piercings for your sim, download them from Praline Sims. They're so good. Here's the clipping I'm talking about though with the eyelashes. Um, if I had put them on the glasses layer, this wouldn't happen. So over here on the glasses layer, there we go. Eyelashes back on. So Praline Sims makes so many facial piercings and they're just, they're so good. I always find the ones in game are like way too big and clunky. They don't really seem to match the size of a sim. Praline sims, they're all really nice and delicate. They come in a variety of colors. So if you want the jewelry to be gold, you can have it gold. If you want rose gold, all of that. Jason wears these. These are Jason's lip rings. Also, another cute item that they have are these under eye gems. They come in a variety of colors. I think I'm just going to go with kind of like a classic silvery. What other piercing should she have? She could have a nose ring. Could have the braided nose ring. I don't think she's giving me nose ring. 
Um, I love their side nose rings because they come with two different size options. So depending on which one is going to fit your Sims nose best, you can make adjustments from there. They also have the under eye piercings and eyebrow piercings, eyebrow hoops. I actually don't think I like a nose ring on this Sim. It doesn't quite work. There are some Sims that, that it works really well for. Same with an eyebrow piercing. I She's not giving me piercing. Oh, it's a side lip ring. That's what she needs. She And she could also have snake bites. So let's go ahead and give her that lip ring and we'll make it a little bit more silver. Oh, I also have the braided ones. That's too many choices. We're, go we're going back to the classic. A lot of the earrings that I have that are like multiple pieces, because yes, they have like classic hoops in a variety of sizes. Love all of these. But all of my ones that have like multiple pieces to them, uh, these ones that I use a lot that have like the dangle on one side, the studs that I use on almost every male sim that I have. These are from Praline Sims. I think she is going to need a good amount of piercings. Oh, right. They also have these cute little stars and moons and just cute little classic jewelry. Which ones fit her? Oh, also, we could go with Dark Knight. Dark Knight has these ones. Those are really pretty. You know what? I'm going to use the Dark Knight ones. Definitely check out Praline Sims earrings. I'm going to go with these ones. I, I want to work some more Dark Knight in there. For the casual look, I'm just going to add the little star earrings because I think these ones are very cute. So this is Cece's first CC makeover with Praline Sims and Dark Knight. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Let me know which piece of CC is your favorite. I almost completely forgot. I downloaded some new Dark Knight CC specifically for this video and this is one of my favorite pieces. This crop hoodie and bike short combo to pair with the sneakers. I always find myself in need of more like fitness style clothing and so these are really cute and I'll link these also. I changed. I wanted to show you guys the new Unlucky Chef inspired merch that is available at MandyRedesigns.com. I'm excited about it. It's super cute. Uh, it says that's hot and there's a burnt pie because Sherry makes pie. So that's going to be available starting Monday, December 5th. Also, you can use code Sherry at checkout to get 10% off your entire order. Moving on to Sim 2, this is going to be a combination of S Club and Lua Fippi. Starting with eyebrows, S Club has quite a few. They do tend to be on the thinner side, so if you're looking for a thinner eyebrow, I tend to gravitate towards a thick brow, but they do have some different ones here. Ooh, those ones look a little angry. I kind of like it. Uh, I might have to reshape it, but I do like the front of these, how they look kind of more like sparse hairs. Actually, I'm going to go with these ones. I'm going to go with these ones here. I am still going to reshape it just a little bit, kind of like a little bit of a sassy brow. So I think I'm happy there. Moving on to eyes. I'm going to have a hard time deciding between the eyes from S Club. There are some that are super cool. So this is one of the options. I think these ones are closer to like a semi more realistic looking eye. Um, if you're looking for these ones, it looks like they're the 201801. But the other eye I am just drawn to, this is the 202005. These are so pretty. Like, they look like little galaxies inside of there. Like, I I am so drawn to these. Usually I'm a Gopal's Me G11. Like, that is my default eye. That is the eye that I prefer on nearly everyone. But these are really cool. So I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to do it on the purple because I think they look really pretty. Also, eyebrow color, I'm going to take to right here. I think we're going to go with a little bit of a lighter color. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. Moving on to skin details. S Club makes some of my favorite overlays. This elf overlay is probably one of the first ones that I had. And I think it's so cute. I'm pretty sure this is Taylor's overlay. Um, but I also have a few new ones that I've gotten recently. One of my favorite ones recently is this one right here. I, again, I am not a huge fan of like a ton of texture on the skin. I tend to like to look more Max X matchy. Um, and I think this one is just really cute and it really smooths things out. She's looking a little crazy right now because we still have those eyelashes. Let me get rid of those. We got rid of that and time to add some lashes. I think I'm going to go a little bolder on this Sims lashes. I think the eyes kind of need it. 
S Club also has some full body freckles. Those don't really see, oh, they are, they're down there. They're on the body, I can see that. So they're not so much on the face, but it does add body freckles. I don't currently have a ton of skin details from them, so I will go ahead and use their body freckles. So we'll have that as well. Moving on to makeup. Ooh, I kind of like that because it's just really subtle, but this is also pretty. Let's see it in a brighter color. Wow. These eyes are a lot, so I'm trying to... Mm, I kind of like that. Ooh, that purple's kind of pretty because it draws out her eye. Decisions. I'm going to go with this one. I like that it matches the same purple as the eye overlay. Moving on to liner. This one is very thick. I don't dislike it. Uh, there's also this one that is a little bit more on the edge. It has like a double wing situation. I'm going to go with the double wing. I like what it does to the eye shape. On to blush. S Club offers a very cute little nose blush. I'm going to go with this higher up blush. It kind of enhances the eye area just like this. And I'm going to use the orangey tone. These are the number nine blush. Moving on to lips. I really like this uh, 201704 for the lips. What color? I'm going to go with this second one here. I like this kind of like almost peachy pinky tone. And time for my favorite thing from S Club, the hair. So much hair. I have so much S Club hair and I even downloaded more yesterday. Um, Sherry's hair is S Club hair. Diamond's hair is S Club hair because it's got the pink stripes in it. S Club has some really amazing hair. I'm pretty sure Sherry's wedding hair was S Club. I usually keep Sherry in S Club hair. They're just so pretty. They're so well made. Like, like, look at this. This is gorgeous. This hair is gorgeous. The amount of time to make this texture. It's, it's insane. Oh, and it, oh, why does the, the pink look so good on this skin tone? I actually want to find kind of, yeah, like look at this va va voom hair. I think we need to go this route. Let's go big bold hair. Okay, what color do we want to go? Oh, that's nice. We could go like a light lavender and kind of kind of go with the theme of the purple that I accidentally started. Light lavender, dark lavender. I'm going to go with the dark. I'm going to go with the dark purple. I was planning to have like more natural hair colors. They're really pretty, but I, I can't. I can't. I, ha I have to. I changed the eyebrows to kind of a darker, more gray black tone, more ash tone, because I think it just works better with the hair. S Club also makes very cute accessories. Um, if you need sunglasses, theirs are really cool. They offer ones that have like different reflections in the background. Also, Praline Sims, I didn't talk about. They have amazing glasses as well. They let you choose the different... Um, amount of lens on some of theirs. So definitely check out the sunglasses. We didn't do that on the last Sim. But because we don't want to cover up her eyes, we're not going to do those here either. Let's go to piercings. S Club, I think, tends to be a lot more delicate. One of the earrings, oh, you can't see it with her hair. I made a bad choice. Let me give her a different hairstyle just to show off earrings. This isn't the perfect hair for showing off earrings, but it's really pretty. So yeah, they have these ones here. These are these lightning bolt earrings. I love these. Also, I think Jason wears these ones. They're kind of like a cosmic cross. They also have a ton of the ones that have multiple piercings, which I love. A lot of the things that Jason wears are S Club earrings. They have a lot of like formal jewelry in addition to the multiple piercing jewelry. I'm gonna go with these ones. They are a bunch of stars and they kind of have the dangle that goes down, which is still not very noticeable with this hair, but we know it's there. On to necklaces. I apparently completely forgot this section for the Praline Sims as well. Check out Praline Sims necklaces. They have amazing ones. They're the ones that make the, um, the little ribbon tie that I use on a lot of my Sims. They also make diamonds, diamond necklace. This is one of my favorites from S Club as well. Oh, they also do the little ribbon necklace. Both of them make ribbon necklaces. This is one of my favorites as well. This is the 202020, but this is also one of my favorites. It is kind of like a leaf and then it feeds through it. And I think this is really pretty. So I'm going to go with this one. I'll go with one on one sim and one on the other. Yeah, we'll go with the ribbon necklace on this hairstyle and we'll go with the leaf necklace on this one. Also, it said her name was Madison for a long time. It's, I changed it back to Cece. Time to dress her. So Lua Pippi is, I think, some of the coolest 
clothing CC that you can have. It feels very like a capsule wardrobe where you can kind of match these pieces together and they're just so customizable. I use a lot of them. You can see them all listed here and they come in so many colors. They always have different designs to them. That lemon dress is so cute. So this is one of my favorites right here. Also got this one. It's, it's just very cute. They're all really well made. They're all very cute. They even have some holiday ones. For this version, let's do a two-piece outfit. They also have this for shirts, which is why I said it feels so customizable because basically you choose the silhouette that you want and then you can customize the color. There's so many. There's so many just like, like your basics. There is so much basics and that is something that is so helpful in The Sims. This sweater I use all the time. I love it. This cute little crop sweater. I'm not going to use this though because we put the necklace on. I want to be able to see that. Let's go with the standard tucked shirt or this one because I know this one also has some cute little designs. Sherry has this. Sherry wears, I believe Sherry wears this one. Um, she, I'm pretty sure Sherry has one of these. Maybe it's this one. Let's, let's go with the shirt though. Cause again, it's got the purple and the pinky tones and I think it matches her hair really well. Let's go with this t-shirt and then we need some bottoms. Uh, they also have a lot of these where they're like, also this sim is so narrow. I did not realize they have a lot of these jeans where they're kind of like the split style type jean, which actually looks really cute. Uh, they've also got the left and right with the opposite pocket. Let's go with these ones. I, I was torn between those ones and these ones because these ones go all the way up. So the tuck makes sense. They also have like casual pants, skirts, joggers, which are hard to find. Also, these are very cute uh, leggings. I could go with leggings. We could be very cozy. I love these leggings. I, I use these. Oh, we could go with a skirt. Again, capsule wardrobe. Maybe we go with a skirt. That looks really cute together because I like that it looks tucked in. Yeah, let's go Let's go with a skirt. Moving on to shoes for this outfit. I obviously forgot at the beginning of the video that S Club and Lua Fivi don't make shoes um, from what I could tell. So I am actually going to have an additional CC creator that we are going to look at today. And that is Shake Productions. Shake Productions makes amazing shoes. They make great shoes. The Converse tennis shoes that I use on so many of my Sims are made by Shake Productions. These are so cute. Currently, they're getting clipped into. Let me take you over here to the Sim that doesn't have other outfits on right now. But these are the Converse that I use. They are from Shake Productions. They are so cute. They're so well made. Like, I love these. But since this skirt seems to be clipping a little bit into those, let's see what we can find. We might have to go heels, which seems a little fancy for this look, but actually it's cute. Um, so these are by Shake Productions. Again, this skirt is definitely clipping, so that is something to keep in mind. Oh, there's her butt. Um, these shoes, though, are Shake Productions. They are the red bottoms. These are the heels that I use for nearly everything. The clipping doesn't seem to be an issue since we're going purple anyway. They probably would have a different color bottom sole. So I think we can get away with it this time. It seems to be clipping into the sole color, but since we're doing purple, it just makes the whole shoe purple. Moving on to outfit number two. Since we have given her more of fancy hair, I think we need to give her a fancy dress. We will take the Converse sneakers off. I'll link those in the description as well. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna use them today, but they make such cute formal wear dresses. I have used these for like my Sims prom. They were great for that. Um, I think someone wore one of these to the wedding. They're so pretty though. Which one? Oh, the green is nice. The green is really nice. Okay, I think I like this one. I think I like the neutrals with the green and the purple highlights. For this, I'll also use those same heels from Shake Productions. You won't be able to see it under the dress, but I still feel like a Sim should have shoes on. I think we can do one more outfit. I'm gonna go with this dress. I love this dress. I think it is so cute. Let's go with this one. I think this one matches best. And for this one, we'll use those same shoes again uh, in their classic red bottom form without any clipping. They're, I, they're just my favorite heel. They are my like standard high heel in this game. So this is Cece's S Club slash Lua Pippi slash 
Shake Productions makeover. Let me know what you guys think of her in the comments. Which version did you prefer? Do you prefer more of the praline style, more of the S Club style? Those are the ones that really give the skin details. Um, so I think that changes a lot about your Sims. I love having all of the options and I refuse to give up any of the styles. If you guys want to see me do more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comments below. Let me know who your favorite CC creator is so I can check them out. But I am going to wrap this one up here and I will see you guys next time. Bye.